Hey everyone, Danny here from Magix. Great to uh, speak to everyone that's listening once again. Something that we all can agree on is time equals money. It's a simple equation. It's always been, and it doesn't matter if you're an agency owner, if you're an econ brand, it doesn't matter. Time equals money. And that's why we want to automate as much as possible so that we can focus on the really important stuff of our business. And that's why whatever is we able to automate, we want to automate. And that's exactly what Magix lets you do. The, 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 the actions that you would be taking on a daily basis, increasing budgets, decreasing budgets, turning on, turning off, duplicating, changing bids, all these different things that we can think about, that's what Magix allows you to do very, very easily in a very, very simple way. So let's take some examples of the real basic stuff and see how it works. So when you go into Magix, we already created four templates for you based on your account's data. So once you connect your account to Magix, we calculate the data on the back end and we give you recommendations that fit your need. And in a click of a button, this will build the automations for you to get you started. Now, of course, you can go more in depth and get much more advanced areas, but this gives you a nice place to get started with. Now, let's take a look at a bit more complex automation that you can do with Magix that gives you a massive, massive advantage. So, for example, we can look at this automation over here. This automation allows us to increase our budget based on performance of the account. So, let's take, for example, increase ad set budget by 20%. Active account once every three days, meaning every three days it's going to check the performance. If the performance meets the criteria, it's going to increase the budget. Now, let's see why I like this automation so much. So, what we can actually see here is it allows us to say if return on ad spend in the last three days is greater than 1.3 times the return on ad spend of the final stage in the last 14 days. Now let's break that down because it's a bit complex and scary, but what it says in a very simple way is let's take my final stage average return on ad spend. So for example, acquisition, my average return on ad spend is two, right? In the last 14 days. So let's take that and let's find the ones that performed 30% better than my average. This will allow me to identify my top performers and scale them. Now, why is it important to do it based on a dynamic metric like this? Because then it's always relative to your account. Of course, performance in Q1 and Q4 are going to be very different. So instead of you needing to come in and change this all the time, this allows you to actually keep it dynamic and it will change as your account changes. And then you can also use the same automation on multiple accounts because it's always relative to the account in question. Now, this automation is super simple, but very, very powerful. As you can see, we can change the different metrics that we want to keep in here and look at it all together. But overall, if performance is good, go ahead and increase my budget. Super simple, super easy to do. Um, and that's it. This was just an example. There's so many other stuff we can do with the automations. Uh, but if you have any more questions, reach out to the team and we're happy to help you set up some automations. Speak soon. And if there's anything you need, just let us know.